Welcome to our channel Lightling Vision. Today mother will continue with part two on the very interesting subject of what is true love. So mother, thank you. You did a, quite a very beautiful and wise introduction on the subject. So we're really uh, all ears to continue to listen to you, your explanation on true love. Thank you very much. Um, well, what I would like to do today is to give you a a more deepened out vision of um, the different experience we can have as uh, human beings in the domain of love. You can say that um, the whole of humanity is every day working on this subject. It's the main subject, uh, the main, one of the main goals of life on earth, learning how to love. It has to do with uh, the experience of the human soul on earth. And one of, of, of the, one big part of, the exp of this experience has to do with learning how to love. And um, that has, from a certain point of view, nothing to do with what we have been taught in, in romantic stories or, or uh, our ideals about the, the perfect love between man and woman or, or, or parents and children. It has to do with, um, as I already said, consciousness. Now, what you will see is that every human being, every day, is in his or her own way deepening out a little part of this huge human experience, the experience of the whole of humanity on earth, with, in the midst, the subject of love. And in this variety of experiences uh, from all those individuals, you will see some things, certain things are the same for everybody, and others are very different. I think one, uh, one thing that can link human beings in the right way uh, amongst each other is the idea we are all part of, of this experience, and your experience is as uh, important as mine. It's only different from an outer point of view. You will see from an outer point of view certain lives that are very difficult. Uh, divorces, um, children that die, uh, all kinds of, of handicaps. Um, and still, somehow this is not the truth. It's an experience for an individual who, you can say in a certain way, has chosen this experience and is made for it. So the first thing we can never do is judge the experiences of other people, because we do not know how they live it inside. They are in the midst of, of uh, all kinds of uh, events, but the way they live it we don't know. And this is the path somehow on a deeper level as a soul they have chosen, so they are equipped for it, normally, in most of the cases. We can only respect it and try to learn from it, because this person is also doing ex an experience for all of us, as my experience also contributes to the whole. And then you will see that... Um, the, 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 the path you have chosen for yourself in this life is your contribution to the whole of humanity. And I think it's very useful as a human being that you see more clear in this. And you say, in fact, what is my path as destiny is showing me? Or that I choose to go, whatever you want, the name you want to, to give it. But what is my kind of experience in this domain? Is, when we talk about the subject of, of love, is my experience an experience on the level of the couple? Or has it to do with my children? Or has it to do with my body and, and love for my body? Or sickness or difficulties in my body? Does it have to do with trying to love um, people that are uh, have a completely different color? or? Is, come from other countries? Do I have to uh, extend my love to other um, cultures? Integrating other visions, other cultures. Y y the, the, the experience you have in the domain of love can be very different. 
there an in, there's an enormous variety of experiences. But I think for a human being, a good uh, approach of his life, of our life, is to see what kind of experience do I have of love. When you're 20, it's perhaps a little bit more difficult to say because you're still young. But from 30 on, you can see this. What kind of experience did I attract to, to myself? And what is my contribution to humanity in the domain of love? And then what I, have I still learned? Or what am I learning? What, I, what should I learn? And I think that can be very interesting to have a better idea about one of the main reasons why you're there. What's your contribution in this domain to humanity and to yourself in the first place? Can you also see what your weaknesses are in this domain? Where are you constantly struggling with the same difficulties? Because as you observe the life of couples or parents or, or even um, colleagues, or you will see that the same difficulties come over and over again in your, in your life. And as you observe the life of a human being, I would say 8 out of 10 cases, a person has difficulties with the subject of love in his life and not with other things. Some have a, a struggle with things like ambition or possessions, but it mainly has to do with love. If you uh, uh, take a look more deeply in their lives. So you can say, we are very naturally, everybody, brought to the point where we have to deepen our love. Love cannot stay in the life of the average human being, and I would say 99% would of the human beings on earth. We cannot stay in a kind of illusion. Life itself, the experiences we have, the choices we make, consciously or unconsciously, sooner or later, always bring us to the point where we have to find out that it's our perception of love, our experience of love, that is triggered in our life. What means love in your life? What does it have to do with you? The message of love for you. Deepening that out for yourself in your life as an individual can be very enriching and can help your growth and the growth of humanity in a tremendous way. Because you will suddenly see that your life has a sense. Even for people who are sick all their life, they will see that it makes sense. Their sickness has to do with their perception of an, an, an aspect of love. And that's what they're learning. And they are not sick and not contributing to society. They have a special mission and their mis mission is as um, worth worthy as the missions of other people. It only takes another form. But it has to do with what does love mean? When we talk about true love, what is true love? Because you don't have a partner, not necessarily when you're uh, very sick, you, 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 perhaps you don't have children, and you're still there. And there are many people on this earth that you cannot put in, in, the, in the situation of the average with, with uh, men, women, children. They have all kinds of different uh, forms of life, and still they are dealing, dealing with the experience of love. So I would say, bringing back our outer experiences that are very varied to this main point, I'm learning something about love. And what am I learning about love? Because when you see this more clearly, you will also see better where you're, where you're going. You can make the link. You can make the link and you can adapt yourself better to your situation. And... Um, learn better from it, I would say. Because I think I've seen many times in my life that, um, and this goes onwards with modern, in modern times, with modern men, many people who do not respond from an outer point of view to the criteria of um, men, women and children do not feel so good in their, their life. 
they they might of course they might say oh I'm um, an alien I'm strange and they can enhance this uh, being strange by taking an air or oh, strange can be there also but somehow they feel not normal and I would like to um, underline that every experience is normal it's normal for you because this is what you have chosen and this is your contribution it has a purpose. It has a purpose. It has, it's your contribution to humanity. You only have to analyze better what you're learning. It has to do with love. In some way or another, analyze all the experiences of your husband, of your wife, of your children, of yourself, and you will see that nine out of ten times it will have to do with love. So people shouldn't envy like big families when they're alone. They should just uh, seek what they're what they're here for, what their purpose are in this situation. In they should. Situ they should seek uh, what their experience in the domain of love is, in the realm of love. They have another experience, but it's it's not more or less worth worthy than what somebody else lives. It's not when you're alone that you're less worried than when you're two or with a family when you're five. You have an, the experience of the person that's alone, which can be very rich and very deep. But you have to see it in another way. It's your road on the path towards a consciousness of love. That's important. And, and bringing back your trials to this experience of love. I think that's very important. Because if you look at um, human life, you will see that many people in modern times try to change the configuration of their daily lives. As soon as there's something in their life they don't like, whether it's in the couple or on the work, level or on their, in their body, they change it. I don't like it, I change it. But by doing so, they will not learn the lesson of love better. They are going more further away and they will see they will get more and more frustrated. And that's what I will talk about in my third video. The difficulty in life is that if you immediately try to change something as soon as you don't like it anymore as soon as it doesn't satisfy you, you anymore as soon as it's not close enough to your ideal of things then you will become more and more in a void inside and frustrated if you can bring the difficulty immediately in contact with this notion of um, what am I learning in this on the level of love then you will see that your difficulties make sense and you don't have to change them because they will change themselves little by little because you're learning through them and then they will transform. But this attitude of modern man immediately changing or throwing away or rejecting everything that doesn't please me on any level of, of, of life is bringing us more and more further away from our goal through love. <laughs> Thank you, Mother. So have a third video on true love. So please don't forget to subscribe and share with your family and friends. And we will see you at the next video. Have a nice day. Graag zou ik willen weten Waarom zijn de bergen zo hoog? Misschien om de sneeuw te vergaren Of het dal voor de kou te bewaren Of misschien als een heilige poort voor de hemel Daarom zijn de bergen zo hoog Graag zou ik willen weten Waarom zijn de zeeën zo diep? Misschien tot geluk van de vissen 
die het water zo slecht kunnen missen. Of tot meerdere glorie van God die de aarde schiep. Daarom zijn de zeeën zo diep. Graag zou ik willen weten, waarom zijn de wolken zo snel? Misschien dat het een wenk aan de mens is, die hem toont dat er eigenlijk geen grens is. Of misschien is het ook wel eenvoudig een engelenspel. Daarom zijn de wolken zo snel. Of ook dat de ziel zich voor alles in schoonheid toont. 